Chris, welcome to the club. Firstly, what are your initial impressions of Shrewsbury? Yeah, lovely place, lovely club, uh, good setup, everything that I need from my point of view and um, really enjoyed the first couple of weeks getting to know everyone, finding my way around the place and just discovering little bits about it to be honest. You've come into a place, Andy Johnson as the fitness coach here, where were you before? So I've done two years at Fleetwood Town in the academy, that was many moons ago it feels like now and then just on the back of near enough three years at Blackpool Football Club with the first team. Oh, okay. Um, how did you find it over there then? Yeah, good. Enjoyed my time there. Enjoyed all the players there working with the staff. Really great group of people. And to be honest, it feels like I've just moved into a very similar place with the great staff here and the players, everything like that. So it's, I fit seamlessly in, it feels like. I don't know if anyone else would tell you any different, but there you go. You're from Lancashire then? Yeah, I am. Born and bred. Yeah, I was, um, grew up on the Fire Coast, so I've not really moved away from there. So it's the first time for me being out of... Uh, my comfort zone, really. <laughs> How are you finding Shrewsbury as a place? Have you had much of a chance to look around yet? Uh, yesterday was the main time, yeah. We went round, me and me and my girlfriend went round, had a look round, discovered a few little bits and enjoyed it, to be honest. It uh, seems like a lovely place when it's not underwater, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wait to see it when it's underwater. When it's not underwater. Um, how have you found the first couple of weeks then that you've been here? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I think it's a very much a bedding in process for me. It's because the lads are the, the most important thing. So it's just getting to know them and how they work and also how the staff work. Because at the end of the day, it's a, a different gaffer and a different group of players, different group of staff. I've got to understand what people want, what people don't want. So that's all it's been really, just a bedding in process. How was the interview process, dare I ask? Um, <laughs> I enjoyed it. It's uh, To be honest, it's one of them things in football, like sometimes you don't, get interviews and sometimes you do and when you do you know you've got to take the chance so I enjoyed it and I, I take the stance of if I can't come through an interview for my position then I don't really know my job well enough so I, I was pretty relaxed in it other than when I think we sat in this office to be honest and it was with the gaffer uh, Dave Longwell, Aaron and Dan the physio um, you know, it was a, a bit of a daunting process, but I mean, we're here, so it's all right now. That's all right then, yeah. So what were, the, were there any other stages to the interview process? Or uh, we had a Zoom interview, yeah, um, which was a, an odd one. I've not had one of those before, obviously with COVID and everything like that. It was a, a different kind of process, but I still enjoyed that. It was a good, good thing to do. How are you finding the group of lads as people to spend almost every day with? <laughs> yeah, good, good. I mean, I've had a, a couple of bits of FaceTime with them doing certain things and little body fats and stuff like that. So really good. Uh, I feel like they responded well to what I've done. Whether they tell you something different, again, I don't know. But again, it's just finding out what makes the individual tick and just working on them parameters, really. With the fitness stuff, have you been working with Sean Morley a lot recently uh, or is that not your... Recently, business? yeah, we've seen a lot of Sean. We've been in quite a lot of days with him. Um, yeah, no, it's a good lad and works hard and that's all I can ask for from my point of view, to be honest. What sort of things would you be doing then throughout the week? What's the sort of day in the life in this job? I mean, uh, it's a hard thing to say in football, but... Well, it's, it's very much a management thing of the players, obviously, with three games in a week, sort of Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, it's a management thing. And keep the other lads topped up that you need, ready to go in case, you know, worst case scenario, something happens, someone falls injured or anything like that. Keep them topped up and look after the boys that are playing. Um, just keep them wrapped up, ready to go. What about on a match day? On a match day it's a bit more hands on, uh, obviously take the warm up and I get about 8 minutes of glory and then after that it's just fetch bottles and all that kind of <laughs> stuff but I enjoy the job, that's why we do it and that's why I want to be here and do as best as I can for the lads to be honest. The man with the whistle just before getting into the little sprints. Yeah that's it, yeah that's me, yeah, that's just uh, the little 5 yard, 10 yard and 18 yard, yeah that's me with the whistle now. <laughs> Well, you'd be, get, you'd be glad to know that uh, after talking for spotted you, so there's a few, could be a few photos of you up and around, which nice. is, that's all right. Your yeah. first one in your I can put yeah. them on the Instagram, then that's fine. That's what it's all about. <laughs> that's what the gear's for. Nice one. Thanks for your time, Chris, and welcome to Shrewsbury. Thank you very much.